All right, single leg squat to the stool. I'm doing the more challenging version, keeping my left leg out in front of me off of the ground, requires a little bit more balance. I'm still trying to control my way down and then stand back up. Control as much as possible. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. I'm gonna switch sides. <clears throat> I don't do this live, but I don't repeat this video, so it will be funny. I, I hope I don't fall, because I'm not redoing it if I do. I almost fell in another video a while back, lost my balance, but it's one and done over here. So, almost done. Here we go, with our first round of both the right and left leg. You'll see, we're alternating. This is a lot of fun, it's not too bad. <clears throat> Already, I'm breathing hard. I'm a little under the weather. Wouldn't say I'm sick, but um, not feeling 100%. Still moving though. Getting my body moving, getting that blood flowing, getting those muscles to contract and relax. Woo! And I almost fell over there just a second ago. So. Love. I love the single leg stuff, single leg squats, single leg hinge. If you've got an imbalance, most of us do, one leg is stronger than the other. One leg is stronger in a certain position than the other. It teases that out and we're building strength and armor. We're arming ourselves against future injuries. If one leg is stronger than the other, what do you think happens? Very easily, the weaker of the two could be injured, or the stronger of the two could be injured from overcompensating. Either one. People always come to me and ask, why did my one leg hurt and not my other? Or why is it on this side of my body and not the other? Very seldom is there a specific incident um, that triggers it, but it's just the compound effect of imbalances. And so this, when we work single leg stuff, we are able to attack those imbalances. We're able to identify my left leg is a lot weaker than my right leg. So I've got to work really hard on left leg stuff. That's more advanced than we're doing with these videos here. But just as we progress, as we move along. Speaking of progressions, if you're following along with these four minute exercises and you want a little bit more, by all means, um, lower the stool to a chair or pull up the other video. These are, these are functional movements, they're work. You're, we're not counting reps here, I'm not worried about that. You can do four minutes of this, four minutes of another video. As long as you have the work capacity, right? The work capacity just means you can do it without overheating or exerting yourself too much, hurting yourself, injury. So we don't want any injuries here. That's why this is easy. That's why it's four minutes. That's why I love the Tabata clock. Ooh, almost all over again. Well, thank you. 